Hey, what's up, everybody? Well, making complex selections has just got insanely easier thanks to some new technology coming in hot in the latest Photoshop beta. That's right, there are two versions of Photoshop. There's the Photoshop 2025 that I'm currently using as of this recording that we're all using, that if you downloaded the latest one as a Creative Cloud member, that's the one you're using. However, there's always been, for the last couple of years, a beta that you can download with technology in it that's not in the release version yet, but is probably coming soon. And that's what we're gonna be taking a look today at some of that new technology that's coming in soon. And I'm gonna show it to you side by side. So I'm gonna make selections in the current release version and selections in the beta version that you can go download today and try right along with me. So with that said, let's dive in. So I've got Photoshop 2025 open with four images open. I've got, if I toggle over to the Photoshop beta, I've got the Photoshop beta with those same four images open. So it'll say beta in the upper left corner when I'm in the beta. It'll say, uh, here, let me go back. It'll say 2025 when I'm in the release version. So that way, and I'll, I'll make sure I let you know which one's which. Now, in order for this technology to work at its best, you can make selections based on select subject and remove background that'll either use your device, meaning the processing power of your computer, or you can turn on cloud, which means that it will use the cloud-based computing to make those selections even better. So to do that, I'm gonna pop over into my settings. I'm gonna come down to image processing and in image processing, once that dialog box comes up on my other monitor, which I'll bring over, I'm going to make sure I toggle off device, which is quicker, over to cloud, which is more detailed. So you can turn this on as your default for whichever one you want. So this is for select subject and remove background. And I've gone ahead and done that in both versions. So that was the 2025 version. I've also done it in the beta. Now you may wanna, after you set that, quit and relaunch it just to make sure it takes effect but I've done that and I've quit and I've relaunched and we're good to go. Now, first one we're gonna start off with is our furry friend here, an otter. Now, if you were making the selection, if you wanted to get rid of that background, you'd wanna keep as much of the whiskers as possible. You'd wanna keep as much of the fur as possible. And I, I like this example because Photoshop 25 is no slouch when it comes to selections right, like this, it will do a good job. But 2025 beta does, or Photoshop beta, does so much more. So let's go ahead and do just simply a remove background. And all remove background does is it makes us a select subject. So it takes a few seconds to do it in the cloud. And then it masks that selection so that you don't see the background anymore. So we'll give it a few seconds to do that. And just like magic, it did that. Now I'm gonna hold down my option or my alt key. And I'm gonna click the mask so we can see the mask. And again, 2025, not bad. I still see the whiskers. I still see fur. Not bad at all. Now let's toggle over to Photoshop beta where we have that same image and we're gonna do that same thing. So let's go ahead and zoom it up like I had the other one. And we're gonna go ahead and use our uh, contextual taskbar. And uh, by the way, you know what? I'll keep the contextual taskbar on the left side so you know it's the beta. We'll keep it on the right side so you know it's the release version. Just again, visually so you see the difference. All right, so let's remove background again. And again, I'm not gonna speed the video up. I'm gonna let it process so you see exactly how long it takes to do it. And boom, it's done it. Now again, if I go into the mask, it's gonna look pretty good. So um, no arguments here. If we toggle between the two apps, there, here's Photoshop 2025 coming up right now. So you can see the edges of the fur. You can see the whiskers. And we toggle back over to the other version and see the edges of the fur and the whiskers are a little sharper. So if I, if I were just to say, is it better? Yes, it is slightly better on this image. Now again, both images are acceptable. Both selections are acceptable. Not a huge improvement on this image. Let's pop over now, we're in, still, we're in the release version. Let's pop over to our next image. And, our next, and we're just gonna keep making it harder. So the first image, pretty easy. They both did a good job. Now in this image, it gets a lot harder because there's a lot of little details in this tower in London. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just simply, I'll uh, we'll keep this one over on the right side for the release version. Yep, I'm in 2025, we'll go ahead and say remove background. So again, give it a few seconds. 
And here's where complex selections start to fall apart with the existing technology. Not that you couldn't do it, not that you couldn't make some more selections and get it better, but you can already see the problem. The sky is still mixed in with a lot of these little details. And you would have to then go in and start selecting that blue and using all kinds of other techniques to try and get it all out of there. And that's where we are today with the release version. Now, again, if I go and look at the mask, that's the mask. And again, I can't tell much other than I can tell by that, that flag. Yeah, that's not a great mask because it's not crisp. It's not sharp. Okay, let's pop over to Photoshop Beta. Let's go over to that same image. And again, we'll do the same remove background. We'll give it a few seconds to do it in the cloud, come back, and we can instantly see, here, let me grab my zoom tool. We can instantly see a much, much better selection. Not perfect, but certainly 10 times, 100 times better without so much cleanup to do uh, as we had in the other version, especially if I go up here by the flag. And again, if we toggle back over to uh, release version, if I go up here by the flag, you can really start to see those differences. So that's beta, that's release version. And here, let's put this over here. So again, we know that's release version. Release version, beta, we'll keep this one over here. And you know what, let's just pin that. Uh, oh, it is pinned, great. That's why that one's staying in place. Let's pin this one. It is not staying in place. Okay, great. All right, so now, uh, and you can you just really see how much more work you would have to do in the release version to clean this up versus the beta just did a better job. So right off the bat, we're getting better selections with the beta on an image like this. Let's keep going. Let's go back to the release version. Let's go to my image number three, uh, or my third image. This one, I wouldn't have even tried to do. There's no way it's gonna get all those wires, especially as it goes further back into the distance. It's just not gonna do it. It's just not gonna do a good job. I wouldn't even try to do this with a select subject or remove background. I try and select the sky or select the color and try other ways, cause I know it's gonna be bad. So let's go ahead and do it anyway. Let's go ahead and say remove background. We're in 2025 and this is what I meant. It's just not gonna do a great job because it's just the technology we have today. So in that case, if you needed the bridge, you'd be better off trying to select the sky and then inversing that selection so that you get the bridge because this is just completely falling apart. Now, again, let's go over to the, I don't even need to show you the mask, do I? There's a mask, which was not great. All right, so let's pop over to the, to the beta. Let's go ahead and go to the same image and let's do the same remove background button. No tricks, this is it. And there we are. And let's look at that mask. Look at that, look at that, look at that mask. And look at this mask. Which one would you rather have? Which one would you rather do with one click? Again, not perfect. There may be some cleanup to do down here, but versus this, which you'd have to basically abandon this selection and try it a different way. It's just night and day for these complex selections. So I got a much better starting point with that image than I do with that image. There we go. So it gets better. Let's go. Let's go one more, the London Eye. And this is one of those where, again, I, I'd be better off trying to select the sky because trying to get all these little spokes and all these little rails and bars and all that intricate detail in the middle here, probably not going to do a great job with select subject and remove background. So if I say remove background, and by the way, you can simply do select subject. So you can do select subject and it, it will do the same thing. It'll select the subject and it'll do it with the marching ants and all that. And I can already see where it's falling apart, but just so you can see it in detail, let's remove background. And yeah, cause it just, it just couldn't figure out what to do. It didn't know London eye from sky detail. So it just, you'd be better off trying to select the sky. All right, again, pop over to beta, same image, remove background. And give it a few seconds and there it is. And again, here's that mask. And we pop over to this one, here's this mask. It's just completely all filled in here. Where here you've got all that deep, look at the difference. Release version you're using today beta version you can go download and use today. <laughs> 
And if you need to do complex selections, this is the technology that's coming in hot into the Photoshop beta. Now, of course, uh, a, lot of it's, a lot of it's easier to see too, what it, what it did if you add a image or add a color under it. So let's go ahead and make a new layer. Let's drag that layer below, and let's just simply fill that layer with a solid color. We'll fill it with just simply black. There we go, black layer below, and then we can really see the problem there. We go to the other image, same thing, new layer, bring that layer below, fill that with a solid color. Solid color's white in this case, so we wanna change it. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab it over here. And we'll just go ahead and fill that in with black. And there's our difference. Look at that. Now, yeah, you can argue, Terry, isn't there some sky still in those windows? Yep, there still is. Versus there's some sky in those windows and everywhere else. And you'd have to clean all of that up. So, kudos to the Photoshop team for keeping the envelope and keeping the bar raised, pushing the envelope, keeping the bar raised for doing complex work, thanks to the assistance of AI and machine learning and just basically now training Photoshop to do a better job on selections. Go download the Photoshop beta, it's, part, it's in your Creative Cloud app. You can just go ahead and grab it, download it. You can, I have them both installed. I have them both installed all the time. I run one when I wanna play and test. I run the other one when I need to do production work. It's up to you. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe. And also be sure to um, give me your feedback in the comments. Let me know what you think. Cheers, everyone. We'll catch you on the next one.